Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different and we're going to talk about some of my favorite Lunar Client mods. Now, I know a lot of people really like Lunar Client in this community and I know a lot of people have really wanted my mods and the mods I prefer for a really long time, so I am finally doing this video. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into it and I'm going to start off with my first mod, which is like at the top of my list, my absolute favorite mod in Lunar. This might take some people by surprise, but it also will make a lot of sense once I talk about it my number one mod is particle mod okay particle mod is by far my favorite lunar client mod and the reason for that is because particle mod is just an amazing mod all around Particle mod is a single-handedly, like, one of the most important mods for my PvP. Uh, I think a lot of people can relate to this when I say that my PvP is way better when I can see sharpness particles, even though I don't actually have sharpness. Now, if you don't know what particle mod is, obviously, you know, you know, I don't expect everyone to know what particle mod is. But if I go over here, I quickly go over to particle mod. Essentially, I can just change these settings. I don't care about these, but the big one is always show sharpness and always affect sharpness swords. Now, these two settings settings basically make all the difference in the world when you're pvping it's so much cleaner when you have sharpness particles and i see every single youtuber like ever use this i don't see anyone play minecraft pretty much ever without sharpness particles and that's because this is like a staple of minecraft pvp okay you have to have this mod if you don't have this mod i don't know what you're doing next up we got the 1.7 visuals mod now this mod is also pretty self-explanatory 1.7 visuals just shows the 1.7 animations in 1.8 and the reason for this is because the block hitting and a couple other animations look way cleaner in 1.7 they just don't look as good in 1.8 so if we go over here it's the first one and these are my 1.7 visual settings if you guys want to copy them down i actually don't use items while digging um because i find it a little bit annoying but these are all of the options and i i just love the block hitting the rotting and all that i think that the uh 1.7 animations mod is one of the greatest mods out there okay this mod is absolutely incredible. Next up, we got another pretty self-explanatory mod. This is toggle sneak slash sprint. And essentially what this allows me to do is just hold W when I'm sprinting. This basically just saves a lot of time and makes my PvP way better. And I think most people use this mod as well. Contrary to having to like double click W or, or you know, hold a different key while also clicking W, I can just hold W and I can go forward. Now, I can show this off here in a second. Uh, if I go over here, turn on keystrokes if you see this i'm just holding w i'm not i'm not double clicking i'm just holding w and uh, once again it's a really really nice mod and uh you know there's some other options that i don't even use like you can uh do toggle sneak blah 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 all that i don't do all that i just use toggle sprint but overall it's a great mod next up we got motion blur and motion blur is super self-explanatory as well i mean i'm literally running around and essentially what motion blur does is as far as i know it blends the frame so there's frame sampling and frame blending and i think normal minecraft uses frame sampling and what motion blur does is it blends the frames together and it makes the game look way 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 smoother so this is what motion blur is and if i were to turn this off the game would not be as smooth okay the game does not look as smooth anymore but now it will look smooth you might not be able to notice a huge difference considering that you're watching this after i render the video but for me this looks very very different and i definitely prefer the one with motion blur i think that's way better and uh, yeah i mean i mean motion blur is just one of my favorite mods i think it looks so cool clean and you can obviously change how effective the motion blur is you can change it on a scale of 1 to 10 and it's just a great feature and i absolutely love it next up we got the scoreboard mod and scoreboard mod i like so much because you can hide the numbers and you can just change the text shadow scoreboard is one of those things that's less optional you kind of need scoreboard if you're playing minecraft and a lot of people don't use it for some reason which i don't actually agree with okay obviously everyone can choose their own mods but personally i feel like scoreboard is like an important mod to have i don't i don't know that's that's kind of of how i see it not having scoreboard is kind of like weird to me i feel like because it's like why why are you not using scoreboard it's like one of the main things i guess i guess if you like don't have a lot of important information on the right side then you don't need it if you're on a different server but as someone that primarily uses uh hypixel to play i feel like scoreboard is super necessary you can see all the teams you can see the diamonds you can see the time the date blah 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 but the main thing i do with scoreboard is i just hide the numbers i think the numbers on the right side are super annoying and the fact that scoreboard mod can just hide it if i don't want it there is great i absolutely love that and i mean it's once again it's a simple mod but it's super effective and a lot of these mods are like that they're not like super out of the way they're not like super annoying they're kind of just there i think i like the less complicated mods that just do 
exactly what you want them to. I don't know. I feel like those are just great. So next up, we have the Time Changer mod. And I don't know if Time Changer is going to do anything here. It might. It does. Okay, and Time Changer mod is absolutely incredible now if you don't know what time changer mod is oh you are totally missing out so as you know pack makers create packs and when they create packs they always have a night sky and a day sky and sometimes they might not have one or the other but there's always at least one now a lot of times you might be using a pack with time changer off and you have a set sky but when you turn time changer on essentially what you can do is you can customize the sky to be night or day depending on what you want to do now a lot of times the sky is hidden in the pack and a a lot of people don't know that time changer actually like changes it but uh, a lot of times this is the mod that you need to make your sky look good time changer is amazing and absolutely like so underrated i love it i think this is like a staple in pvp and aesthetically pleasing at pvp gameplay i feel like without time changer i would always have like a black sky or, or like something super dull but i think it's great now i want to show you guys something really really cool here now i have turned on a 72 pack overlay and if I go to time changer what I can do now is I can customize this to be any of the 72 and this is just truly incredible I mean this is one of the coolest features ever it's essentially an entire pack list like in one look at this sky and it looks so cool and I've never even seen it before because this this pack has 72 overlays and I can just select whichever one I want with all of the different time cycles it's just it's impressive it's really really cool and like look if I'm like like done with this i can just go over here and just change it to something entirely different and look at this one. Oh my god it's genuinely one of the coolest features ever next up we got nick hider now nick hider is a little bit more situational i feel like a lot of people don't really need this mod uh if you're not really a youtuber you don't really need it but personally nick hider helps me out a lot nick hider is pretty self-explanatory you know you can just hide your name uh your your nick on tab and on your screen and essentially just show your real name and uh this will this will just uh make it so that people can't snipe you when you're streaming etc it's a cool feature now this doesn't really do anything for recording but i end up using it for recording anyway sometimes because i just don't like seeing my nick i just kind of like seeing my real name even though i am actually nicked and you know it's not a huge deal but it does definitely help a little bit i i do prefer having nick hider because even even when i'm recording it's just kind of annoying now the one downside to this the one downside to this is a lot of people think i don't have youtube rank because because when i like type something i have plus mvp plus i don't have like uh the youtube rank so i mean a lot of people get confused but i promise i do have youtube rank i did not use my lose my youtube rank for cheating or something <laughs> uh, i i do have my youtube rank and yeah i i, I do uh, use Nick Hider, so that's that's the thing with that. Next up, we got the Hypixel Mods mod, and Hypixel Mods is a very cool mod. So if I go over here and I search up Hypixel Mods, this just puts all of the main Hypixel Mods together, and you know, there's Auto Tip, there's Anti GG, there's Auto Complete, Auto GG, Auto Friend, and I use Auto GG, Auto Tip, Auto Complete, and Remove Guild MOTD. Well, as I was saying, this is a really cool feature because basically I can just select anything I want to, and it'll just work in the backdrop. Okay, so I never have to say GG again. I never have to do slash tip all again. It does it all automatically and it's just super great. Next up, we got the Hypixel Bedwars mod. The Hypixel Bedwars mod is great and I'm using it very, very uh, actively right now, actually. If you look at the top right, my stats are pretty crazy, okay? I have 141 session FKDR, which is really, really good. Now, essentially, what Hypixel Bedwars mod does is there's a couple options. So, obviously, there's the stats, but there's also a height limit display, which shows you the height limit, and there's a resource counter if you turn that on as well also there's colored beds which kind of sync the color with the team and there's hardcore hearts so essentially when you lose your bed your hearts will be changed to hardcore kind of like survival hardcore mode or uhc uh basically this is these are all just you know little quality of life features and they're all pretty awesome i really like this mod because it's like you know it, it helps me be aware of how well i'm playing and stuff like that now the one main issue i have with this mod is it does bug out a lot like uh, i feel like a lot of times when i try to use this mod there's like you know you know the, the api doesn't update and my hypixel stats doesn't show on the top right and so a lot of times i have to like reset my session even after i've won a game and then that puts me a game behind and it can just kind of be a little bit annoying but it's not a huge deal and I, I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons it's definitely a mod worth getting and worth using and why why are my generators invisible what's going on here 
I'm a little bit confused. Uh, let's just go back and uh, let's try to win this game. Last but not least, I want to talk about one more mod, that mod being Crosshair Mod. Now, Crosshair Mod is a little bit more questionable, okay? A lot of people don't like this mod. They don't dislike it, but they don't love it because they can't really... They just don't really care for it. That's the right word. They just they just don't really care for this mod. But personally, I really like this little aim uh, crosshair that I use all the time. No matter what pack I use, I am always using this crosshair. And if you watch a lot of my videos, you know that. You know I always use this crosshair. Crosshair. A lot of people don't like this, but essentially what you can do with Crosshair mod is I can go over here, go into Crosshair, and I can change my Crosshair to literally anything, and this will, and this, what, what this will do is it'll rain over any pack. So regardless of what pack you are using, the Crosshair will be visible, the one that you want, and uh, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, you know, it, it just lets you give, get more customization, and more customization is always kind of a good thing, you know. But anyways, with that being said, those are all the mods. I went over 10 of them in this video. If you want me to do another video with 10 more, I could do that as well. Um, but I don't know if that's necessary because, I don't know, I went over a lot of really good mods in this video. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was definitely a good video. I had a lot of fun commentating it. I'll do more mods or Hypixel stuff in the future if you want me to. Anyways, if you guys made it this far, comment Lunar. I will be hearting every single comment that says the word Lunar. I want to see who made it to the end of this video. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day, everyone. Peace out. Bye.